Here's a tight angle, but he will go for it. And this is turning into a demolition job. And that is a statement-making performance right there as Chelsea make one of the biggest statements to the rest of the league. Back to the FA Cup, though, and Newcastle United will be gunning for some revenge as they have drawn Chelsea once again. Corner Newcastle, won by Chelsea. Well, then by Newcastle again, he will shoot, but can't beat Kepa once again. Newcastle once again going forward. As Joe Linton's now in a great position. But Levi Colwell does read it and blocks it. Newcastle hitting Chelsea back. Great tackle again. But will fall to Isaac. Kepa saves. Murphy on the ball. He does get it. And Levi Colwell cleans up. Brilliant defending. Dangerous is this though with Edin Dzeko in that box. As he meets him. But Nick Pope with an absolutely brilliant save. Corner in again. And Dzeko again, straight at Nick Pope though that time. He always seems to win his headers though, this man. Newcastle going forward though, brought on some of the firepower. Is he will get space to shoot, but it's an absolutely incredible tackle. He's been so good today. It's been end-to-end -end this stuff though, brilliant game. The Scandaval gets it played to him, who's been quality all game long. He will run down this touchline now, gets away. He will drill it across, Nick Pope saves, and Madueke will make it 1-0. As Chelsea take the lead once again, and it's Nonny Madueke who gets the goal. Last kick of the game, the way you're even, Nick Pope's up for it. The ball is in. Chelsea try clear. He's fumbling about. Ends up to Delafeu, who will hit it wide. Chelsea will progress to the next stage, and it's a huge win at St. James's Park once again. It's Nonny Madueke who gets the goal, and Chelsea are looking serious contenders to take this cup home. Right, lads, so there's a bit of a problem. So you're probably thinking, Owen, you're top of the league. How on earth has that happened? Well, so I've just played the game against Tottenham, and we drew 0-0. Now, I thought I was recording. Well, I was. There was no audio. The microphone was not linked. I don't know why it's unlinked it, but unfortunately, that game you didn't get to see. However, Liverpool played Newcastle on the same day and lost 3-1 at their own ground, meaning we are top by a point. So that is great. But what isn't great, lads, Edin Dzeko has left the club. That is right, we've decided to let him go. What a servant he was. He wasn't here for long, but boy, did he make an impact. A bit of a shocker next, there was Conor Gallagher then departed, who's been brilliant for Morris. But the reason he was to sell Gallagher is because he was looking at the youth as Ryan Cherky joined Chelsea FC and the young man was now a Chelsea player. Morris then gets another big signing over the line as young Brazilian goalkeeper Lucas Mantella also comes to the bridge and one day he will absolutely be rocking the number one shirt. And that's it, the January transfer window is over. Chelsea signed Cherky and Mantella, two young lads that will be fighting for a place in the team, no doubt about it. But it is now back to the Premier League where Chelsea need to keep picking the points up to remain in the top spot. And this will be your team to play Wolves. Everybody's fit. It's the full 11. But we also have Cherky and Mantella, who I will bring on for the second half. Ruben Neves with it. We'll play to the big lad, who will go for goal. Emiliano Martinez manages to get a glove to it, though. Mikhailo Mudrick's making the run, which Levi Garcia will play him. It's Mudrick now. Mikhailo Mudrick goes to cut in. And oh! Ho, ho, ho! Tick about Mikhailo Mudrik. What a goal. And he's really transforming into something special under the tutorship of Morris. Mateus Nunes battering for Fana to win the ball back. Caicedo gives him one back though. Rhys James will come over and do it again. But the referee pulls it back for the free kick. He played on for me. Decent range to cross this in, no doubt, as he will. Chelsea do win the ball. He's straight back to Wolves though. As the number 17 gives it to Adama, he shoots first time and it's 1-1 from the free kick that the referee shouldn't have given in my opinion. Not a clue why he's given that. Noni Madueke with the ball, with a brilliant display of strength and pace now running down the line. And Christopher Nkunku, oh ho ho, Rabun is it in. It was an awkward touch so it had to be a special type of finish. Christopher Nkunku comes out with an absolute beauty to give Chelsea the lead. And it's now time for the new lads to come on. Cherky and Mantella comes on, it looks so weird bringing a keeper on. Christopher Nkunku has just scored but he will come off as he has got a bit of a knock. And I'm not risking him, no chance. Swole's going forward. Neves to Adama. Oh, good save for Mantella. Nicholas Jackson racing forward, plays it into Cherky, back to Jackson. 
He'll go for the over the top. It's the running behind. Cherky will hit on the volley. Not a bad effort, just wide. But there you have it. Chelsea do get the win. A really tricky game, to be fair. Wolves absolutely gave us some, but we stayed courageous. We kept fighting and we managed to seal the victory.